You've been doing this wrong your whole life. And I mean bicep curls. Most people, they take the weights and they swing it up like this. They use their whole body to do the bicep curls, their shoulder, and they work everything except for the bicep. What you have to do instead is stabilize the back of your shoulder so that it holds your arms still and then you can really focus on the squeeze and the hold the tension on the bicep and that, what I'm gonna show you how to do it properly, is how I've been able to build the muscle in my bicep and tighten up the loose skin in my arms after losing 130 pounds. So I'm gonna take a pair of 10 pound dumbbells and I'm gonna lean against a wall so that I can stabilize the back of my arm and that's gonna force me to only put the tension on my bicep and my biceps get really sore, so check this out. So when you're doing bicep curls, you want to eliminate the front of your shoulder from doing the work. So by stabilizing the backs of my arms like this against a wall, I'm only going to squeeze with my biceps. Everything is going to be still and I'm going to be able to put the tension only on the biceps as you can see. And you'll really feel it. Whew. You'll actually see how much your shoulder and back and everything helps when you kind of glue the back of your arm to the wall. You'll see how much your body's trying to help you and we don't want the help from the body. We just want the biceps. And when I, when I do it like that, my biceps shake because I'm literally only able to use the bicep, which is exactly what we want. And also, you don't need heavy weights if you're putting the tension on the bicep. Like, I only use 10 to 15 pounds at most, and I do two sets of 10 to 15 reps, depending on the day and how I feel. And I'm gonna show you an alternate if you have like a preacher curl bench or something else. All you need is some sort of wall or whatever to stabilize the back of your arm. So I'm gonna show you another way to do it. All right, so all you need is the back of a preacher curl bench or something like this. And what I do is I, you know, straddle the seat here and I just get, I'm gonna use single arm this time and stabilize the back of my arm and again use the bicep only squeeze the weight up with the bicep yeah keep the back of your arm even press in with the back of your arm to the bench and you'll really notice the difference of isolating the bicep so again by pressing the back of my arm either to the preacher curl bench or to the back of a wall it really puts the focus on the muscle in the bicep. It allows you to only put the tension on the bicep and to squeeze only that so that your biceps are gonna get sore and you're gonna fill your biceps out with muscle as opposed to the old swing rooney that most people do. So one last tip is you want to do what's called breaking the wrist, which is basically just having your wrist bent like that because we're eliminating everything, every part of the body that's going to try to help you. And by doing that, it takes your forearm and wrist out of it and really allows you only to do the squeeze a on the bicep. And as you can see, my bicep really shakes. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so if you want to know exactly what I ate to lose 130 pounds and keep it off for seven years, I have all the links to my weight loss guides, including my new one, Body Recomposition Plan, Leaner Not Meter, in the links down below in the description. I also have the link for Huddle, HTLT Sups. Use code Nicole to save 10% because they have creatine. I just want to say one more thing. In Leaner Not Meaner, we show pictures of all the way we train and give detailed descriptions on our methods of training. Exactly. And there are more um, arm exercises, biceps, triceps, and actually all body stuff exercises in Leaner Not Meaner. And creatine is another thing aside from doing the workouts like doing the form properly creatine your body already makes it but not enough of it so by taking creatine it brings water to the muscle and really helps fill up the muscle it's also good for strength i find that i can lift more like heavier weight and do more reps when i have creatine and when i'm taking creatine 
I just mix it with my water, a scoop in my water when I'm training, my muscles are way more full than when I'm not taking it. So, hope you enjoyed this. I love you, the friends. Don't forget to watch this vid and this vid to check out how I love my food, how I just Whoa. get cute with muscles and love life. If you want to do it, check out the vids. Love ya. Catch you in the next one. Peace, cuties. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.